on this day under cloudy, rainy, stormy skies that have parted for just even a few moments. The Seahawks are going to give this one up to the Niners. The final score, 41 to 23. Win one or two other games that you could have won, and it's been a whole different situation. Do not take anything away from this team that made the playoffs. You have played one heck of a football season and gotten to the playoffs, but again, nobody thought you would get here. And this team is only going to get better. The draft is going to roll around before we know it. We'll be talking about first rounders and how this team will help improve itself. You know, obviously I'm grateful for the opportunity, uh, grateful for my teammates. Being able to have Coach Carroll and, and this type of leadership and this type of ownership, it means a lot. For us, we just continue to do our thing, dance at practice and have fun and enjoy the moments. Just being the Seahawks that he just lets us have fun and do our thing. All right, Gino, first question. You're a long way from Seattle, but you're still giving out to the community here. How good does it feel to be able to give these kids this experience? Uh, it feels great. It feels great to be out here. Uh, these kids are wonderful, and it's just a great opportunity for us as athletes to once again to connect with our community. Sure, you had such a great year this year, and you've already signed a lot of autographs. Uh, how good is it feel, and how important is it to be in that role model position for these kids? It's the most important thing. You know, we got to set the example for our youth, and uh, these kids, they're, they're watching everything that we do. So we got to continue to reach back and give back and allow them to see us so that they can, you know, grow up and be, you know, better than us, you know, one day. You know, it feels good. I'm very uh, grateful for all the fans who voted. Uh, for the coaches and players who also voted, uh, and then for the opportunity uh, to play with the guys that I've been able to play with, uh, the receivers, the, the backs, the, uh, the linemen, um, everyone contributed you know, to this, Shane, uh, calling great plays, and so uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm grateful, and, and very thankful for this. So we're here um, at the Boys and Girls Club, just doing some volunteering. Uh, it's really cool out here, uh, you know, the NFL donated, and uh, what you see now is we're painting, we got kids out here playing football, uh, it's just really cool to be out here representing the Hawks uh, at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, you know, everyone's having fun. It's a great event. Uh, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, kiddies? He's I'm Gino. Right, right, right. Seahawks. 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 What y'all know about Seahawks? I don't know. Hey, it's all good. I'm, I'm hoping you guys, look, you guys got to be Seahawks fans. I like the Vikings and the Rams. The Vikings and the Rams? The Rams? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Who do you like? Okay. Seahawks? Anybody Seahawks? Yeah, my man. Yeah, Seahawks. Yeah. You guys want me to sign your shirts? Yes. Okay. Only me and Anthony are using it. Yeah, I got you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get ready for Sunday. You know what I mean? Got to get ready for Sunday. It's practice right here. Just getting ready for Sunday. Got the kids running routes, you know. Yeah. My guy right there, that's Tyler Lockett. You ready? Go! Nice. Good catch. I'm a big fan of the game, you know, and so I, you know, I respect every single player who was voted, even the guys who, you know, weren't voted, you know, some very deserving players. And so just to be able to be around all the guys and just laugh and joke around, maybe throw the football a little bit, you know, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, the I got a question, man. I got a picture in my phone. You sacking me in like my neck, like Ooh. you grabbing around my neck no, no, no. area. Yeah, yeah, your neck like, grabbed my hand. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. Okay. What had happened yeah. was you were trying to like you were trying to be a superhero. Like you don't have. Yeah. Every quarterback doesn't have a cape. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I didn't have time to write back. I was I was writing. I was. Oh, you I wrote you, back. Yeah, yeah. I was. Okay. Just because you didn't read it, don't so, mean I wasn't right. So you know if I jump on your back the next time I see you absolutely. in the weight room, yeah. then you understand what yeah, happened. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Cool. I should not be in the weight room regardless. I should be on a track somewhere running. That's why we go to Reefs. We out here get faster. Respect. Respect. <laughs> we out here get faster. Respect, yeah. yeah just always a lot, lots of fun um, just being around the kids, uh, throwing the football, you know, got to mess around with a few of the, uh, the other players here at the Pro Bowl. And so, you know, we're just having a lot of fun. Great to be, uh, be able to give back to the community. Uh, really just looking forward to uh, the entire, you know, the entire week, I believe. It's a week we're there. And uh, just, you know, seeing what it's about. First one. Uh, uh, you know, better late than never, but um, you know, it's, it's gonna be interesting, you know, just to kind of see uh, what it's all about and, you know, the Pro Bowl, I've never, you know, attended a Pro Bowl, I've never, you know, only seen it on TV. So to actually be uh, a part of one will be a dream come true. So, Doug, you ready? <laughs> Boy, you need some, lo oh, okay, you straight, you straight. Nah, make, sure you, make sure you put some lotion on, you know what I mean? Yo, come on, your mama watching now. You gotta be doing it right now, come on now.
Hey, we did have our, our bad ass as hell. Yeah. Man, I'm warm, man. Let's go. There ain't a dude in the world I'm proud of. Man, thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. But then, nah, it's me. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta just keep going, man. Thank right. you. Right. Get your contract and let's, let's just finish it out. Yeah, we going. No matter how it's going. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Five in the morning. All right. All of them? Bucket. What's, what's the post right there, Peyton? That's, is that a post? What route is that? Yeah. Who are we throwing to there? How many, how many points did, uh, how many points was that? How many points hey, Trevor did? Me too. I just want to hit two fours and two threes. I'll just if I can go four for four on those. Oh yeah, that good. I feel great about myself. Every, everything else is like, all right, playing with house money here. If I hit one of those things on the side, man, I'd, I'd be so happy, bro. So you'll get the horn to start, horn to stop. I'll yell out some time cues as your session winds down. Okay. okay. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, uh, how many did I get? You did pretty good, man. 20. Who had the most? Uh, Tyler's right now the 21. Damn, me? Uh, yeah. Get you, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I think that the uh, San Fran game opened our eyes up. The playoff game opened our eyes up to, you know, what we have to be in order to get there, you know? Oh, oh yeah. One of the first years. Thank you. Thanks, Tino. Gotcha. Can I get a selfie with you? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tino. That's so much. I mean, it's gonna be just awesome. You know, anytime you can look to the right, look to the left, and for me, it'll be cool because I can look right and left and I see Reek right there. You know, what I mean, kind of like in the game. So, I mean, that'd be dope. And you know, Jay Ma is deserving. And you know, um, same with Gino. You know, his story. I mean, I remember playing against Gino ten years ago in college, eleven years ago in college, and you know, he was always a great player. And you know, for him to put it all together now and enjoy those moments, it'll be cool to be able to look over there and see my quarterback that's worked so hard, um, that's went through the things that he went through. You always want your brothers there beside you in any of your accomplishments, and um, I think that'll be super cool. Now I don't go shopping in Texas. Be honest. I mean, I feel like my best friend usually does like all my outfits and all that stuff. So he lives in LA. So he usually do all my shopping in LA. So I just find like little pieces that I wear. I'm in Lululemon sweat. I should be sponsored by Lululemon, really. I think so. I feel like I got everything I can get out of here. It fit. Boy. You got us going the wrong way. Ari. Hi, mama. Ari is obsessed with bath bombs, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Look how she looking. <laughs> oh, that's the store? The shoe store? You got to wait in line? I ain't waiting in no line. I'm about to go get some shoes, check the shoe stores out. My nephews love this place, so we're gonna go check it out. Say hi. <laughs> so we'll check it out. We'll, we'll get back to you and let you know what I get. Oh, I'm chilling, you good? Nah, I'm just looking. What? What do you see? These? We don't wear these, man. These like Team Jordans. We don't wear Team. What up? Yeah, I know. I was in here. I was what's man? Yeah, they said hella big. What up, fella? What up, my dog? Girl, why you got all essentials on? I was asking, like, first time ever. We're just like a pocket. Oh. At 10. We only had, this the only one tomorrow. 
Yo, it's at 10 a.m. We ain't practiced all week. Huh? Yeah. What? How much of those? Yo. That's why we what's the name? That's why. Let's see. Look. Little man ain't even gonna be able to wear them, huh? Yup, no doubt. Quandre, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. So how big is treating you so far? Man, it's dope, bro. Every time, it's always dope. I went to y'all other store uh, at the shop. Oh, Christmas? Yeah, I went over there. It had just opened up like that morning, I went over there. Yeah, so we're, we're in the middle of a soft opening. I'm like literally retraining all my staff because it's a very different experience, right? Yeah. Like over there, it's you know, five or ten people at a time. Here you can see it's like oh, yeah. hundred guys at a time, so it's a whole different vibe. What shoe would she get? What shoe would she get? Little baby. What shoes? I mean. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. Yep, no doubt. What? Uh, cool grade? She got some at home she ain't even wore. Like, she gonna act like they twins. I mean, it's sweet, you know what I mean? To be able to, you know, kind of go back to the Pro Bowl for a third consecutive year, but also coming off what I've come off of, you know, I was just looking at videos last night of me literally not cutting until June 5th. So for me, it's, it's super special. You know, I've only, really only trained for a month and a half before I was having to come into my eighth year. And, you know, you don't take those things for granted. You know, I always look back at those videos and kind of remind myself that, you know, you're blessed, you know what I mean? Less than a year ago, you weren't able to walk. And for you to be able to go back to a Pro Bowl and fans and coaches and players around the league devote you in for a third year, you know, is really special. Right. And tell them, so I got uh, suckered into this. You can point to us and blame us. Uh, whenever I got chosen, I seen like the roster and stuff. I was literally looking like, dang, I'm gonna be on a team with uh, Trayvon Diggs and Jair and Darius Slay. Like those those cornerbacks right there, that just says it for themselves. You know, Trayvon, he's still a young dude, and you know, Jair been in the league a little bit longer, but you know, those guys, the way they play and their style of play, who who wouldn't want to be around guys like that? You know. And I got them on social media too, so it feels even better because like now I can just be like, okay, I can DM them or something. Like, hey, you know, see at the Pro Bowl or something. So let's go, let's go. Hey, get ready to run the ball. Oh! Now, hey, head coach. What's up, dude? What's up, B? How you doing, bro? That's good, that's good. That's crazy, I always be on TV. So this is real, this is really cool as hell. Nah, 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 this is different, this is different, dude. My head coach is Dan Pete. Oh, hold on. Well, Gino put that piece on my head. For real. <laughs> uh, it was hella mean, bro. I remember the first game, that's was hella mean out there, bro. Man, just being able to see the lineup and the defense alignment and the tight ends and then the receivers, like, and it's not one of those type of serious type of settings. It's one of those settings where, you know, just go out and have fun and you do it for the fans, you know. And I can't wait to do that because those players are always in a certain mode when it's game time and they be locked in too. So you be kind of like, oh, should I talk to this guy or not? So for sure at the Pro Bowl, I hope they really come and talk their ears off a little bit. <laughs> Hey, when we get that 30 minute break, we need to work on a, a celebration we all dance to in that. Yeah. Cupid Swivel in that. <laughs> you gotta be synchronized. That would be hard though, oh God. We gotta run that cover three when we get more field. No. We can we run it. We can it. run it. Not in the game. Come on. Uh oh, we got another one. We got another one. Yeah.
You know, I'm just always focused on being better. You know, if I had a Pro Bowl season this year, then I think next year should be even better. And so I'm just trying to find out ways to be better than I was. Obviously, the accolades and all that, I'm very grateful for. But, you know, my, my, my thought process is, you know, how could I be better? What could I do better um, to make it a second straight Pro Bowl and not just one? Your shoe drawer looks like my shoe closet at home. <laughs> Look at these shoes. That's a lot of breaking in cleats, though. Your feet would hurt all the time. No, you should get used to it. They actually feel better when I don't break them in. What? Wait until you get to be my age. It's going to feel a lot different. Oh, I'm already your age. <laughs> you 30. I would... God, I love you. Yes. You 30. Yep, that's exactly right. I'm on my way to 30 next week. Oh, man, that time flies. Oh, which means that you appreciate every season for what it is. What do you appreciate most about this team in this season? Oh, I think just the resiliency that we showed. Um, I think, you know, guys came in and we kind of embraced that role of being underdogs and we took advantage of it. And um, of course, it didn't work out the way we wanted to. We wanted to, you know, be a seven seed that advanced and um, we weren't able to do that. But um, I think it definitely was a stepping stone for us. And, um, I just think this team was just close knit the way, you know, we came together um, through all adversity we had to go through. Uh, we stuck together. None of you guys in this rookie draft class really knew each other coming in. I mean, maybe you'd had some crossover at the combine, but why was this such a close class? Um, I say just the way we put our head down and work. Um, I feel like all of us came in each and every day um, really and excited to accomplish the next goal, uh, which, you know, go one and always week. Um, and yeah, we really just focused on it, to be honest. That was like a like a big emphasis for us. From whenever I first got here to now, it's crazy because I made a lot of steps and, you know, I beat a lot of odds and I beat a lot of expectations and people thought I was going to be an experiment. You know, I'm still getting better and stuff like that and I still got a lot of stuff to work on, but nobody thought a Pro Bowl, nobody thought lead the league interception, nobody thought being a starter. People were saying, oh, you going to, oh, my bad. <laughs> people were saying, like, oh, be a gunner, you're going to be a gunner. Like, every team I heard, like I was talking to you, like, oh, you're going to be a special teams guy. So for me to go out there and show that I can play in this league and belong there and also show that I can actually help my team, you know, not just, you know, just coming in and playing a couple of plays, but actually going out there as a rookie, playing a lot of snaps and just keeping my mental straight. But also just the guys around me it helped me, like, be able to do that because I'm with some vets and some guys that's in the room that, that's been there before. So just having them around me and having them trust in me and me trusting them, it made this season so much fun. Sounds like you proved a lot of people wrong, but did you prove anything to yourself this year? <laughs> I only said I got distracted by Ryan, what she said. <laughs> Sounds like you proved a lot of people wrong, but did you prove anything to yourself this year? Yeah. Uh, one thing I proved to myself, just don't doubt myself again. Uh, just coming in, you know, I was just, you know, kind of nervous, but, you know, I just was hearing what people were saying, but, I always had faith in myself, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to show people that, you know, a guy like me, you know, you can come from UTSA, you can come from any school, you just got to get a chance. And when you get a chance, just capitalize on it. How would you sum up the rookie year and the experience that you've had? Um, I would say it was a journey, you know. i said this before, but I think it was a journey because I had to, like, be patient with certain things, but also, uh, it was just a great experience and a blessing, you know, because being around the guys, they made it much easier for me and the other rookies to come in here and uh, perform. So, yeah, a journey. Right after the draft is always this period where you don't necessarily know what to do with your hands anymore. You know, you're kind of like, what just happened? And we always have a ton of other things going on, whether it's, you know, free agency or administrative stuff. But uh, you know, your primary focus for so many months is, is on the draft. This team is going to look different in that, I believe, this team is faster, more violent, uh, younger than they've been in my recollection. You know, there's four or five guys on defense, there's three or four guys on offense that are all going to come back and they're going to be vets, you know, as, as they turn the corner. It's hard to describe to you guys how much clearer things will look and how they'll feel like, how did I not 
know this, you know, and, and survive a season. See, the, the preparation, if this makes sense, for not necessarily knowing and, and all the work that the pro guys are doing, and then all the college scouts uh, getting ready for like laying the foundation and who the players will be you know, trying to zero it down to, you know, zero it down to about 1,500 guys. I'm most proud of the, where they are coming out of this season because it's a culmination of everything that we went through, the challenges, the setbacks, uh, you know, when the elevations of our play, um, th that we came out of it with the mentality that we're moving forward and we're going. I think our fans can feel it too. You know, I think it's that obvious. And, and uh, I think the community around us that supports us and the building here and all there, it supports us, you know. Everybody senses it, so it gives us the best shot to take this next step together.